Chromatan Corporation presents Countercurrent Tangential Chromatography, a new column-free purification technology designed specifically for large-scale manufacturing of therapeutic proteins and vaccines. Countercurrent Tangential Chromatography, or CTC, enables rapid and cost-effective response to pandemic threats and features the benefits of continuous processing, disposable flow path, straightforward scalability, and significant reductions in capital and operating costs. Our animation of a typical monoclonal antibody manufacturing process begins with a bioreactor growing genetically engineered cells designed to produce a particular antibody molecule. The goal of the purification process is to separate and purify the antibody from the mixture of cell debris and other contaminating species, such as DNA, RNA, and host cell proteins. The purification process consists of a number of process steps. The first step is designed to separate whole cells and large cell debris from the bioreactor broth, typically performed with a centrifuge. The clarified broth is then polished further by filtration steps designed to remove the smaller cell fragments. The second filter element usually employs a 0.2 micron pore size sterilizing grade filter with the harvested broth collected in the holding vessel for further processing. The broth is now solids free containing the product antibody which is depicted with a blue Y shape along with a number of dissolved contaminants including host cell proteins and DNA. The next purification step usually utilizes a capture chromatography column. The column consists of a packed bed of small chromatography resin particles. The resin is chemically modified to selectively bind the antibody. Most antibody capture applications are done with the affinity protein A chemistry, represented here by yellow spheres. The resin particles are usually configured as porous spherical beads, 50 to 100 microns in diameter. Most of the binding sites are actually located inside the pores of these beads. A complete chromatographic cycle consists of four stages of operation. During the binding stage, the antibodies are bound to the resin while most impurities flow through. During the washing stage, a new buffer chemistry is introduced to desorb contaminating species while the antibodies remain bound. The washing step can be repeated using different pH or salt conditions to desorb multiple species when necessary. The elution step desorbs the now purified antibodies from the resin, collecting them as product, while the regeneration step cleans off any remaining impurities preparing the column for the next cycle. The small chromatography column is a compact and convenient unit operation. However, when the process is scaled up to commercial manufacturing, the large-scale column becomes massive. To process 20,000 liters of fluid, a large-scale chromatography column stands 12 feet tall with a footprint of 500 square feet. This type of column must be at least 2 meters in diameter and be able to pack 1,200 liters of resin. Several tons of stainless steel are used to construct this type of column. Cranes must be used to move the system components, and special hydraulic systems are installed for packing and unpacking the resin. Overall, a commercial column chromatography operation of this magnitude requires $3 million for capital and 12 to 15 million dollars for the expensive protein A resin. In Chromatan's countercurrent tangential chromatography, the resin particles are no longer packed in a column, but are instead suspended in a concentrated slurry. The slurry is pumped from left to right in a single pass through Chromatan's patented CTC system. The elution buffer 
desorbs antibodies from the resin particles inside the static mixers. The antibodies are then separated and recovered by hollow fiber membrane modules. The process is repeated twice with countercurrent recycling to increase process efficiency and product yield. The CTC elution begins with a resin slurry that has already been through the binding and washing stages. The slurry shows a smaller particle size with bound antibodies and impurities. The goal of the elution stage is to recover a solution of pure antibodies while leaving the impurities bound. The slurry leaves the tank at a concentration of 40 to 60 percent solids. It is then diluted by the recycled buffer, which changes the solution chemistry to favor antibody desorption. The dilute slurry proceeds into the static mixer, which provides adequate residence time for desorbing the antibody. Small particle size allows for much less residence time in the static mixer than in the packed column. The antibody desorbs quickly while the impurities stay bound to the resin. The dilute slurry leaves the static mixer and enters the first hollow fiber module, whose purpose is to reconcentrate the slurry and separate the product molecule from resin particles. The module consists of a bundle of hollow fiber tubes with permeable membrane walls. The microporous walls retain resin particles while the purified antibodies freely pass into the permeate side of the module. The reconcentrated slurry continues to the second stage of the CTC system, while the purified antibody is collected as product from the permeate side of the hollow fiber module. By itself, the first stage of the system can recover up to 85% of the product antibody. The second stage of the CTC system is designed to boost recovery to 95%. In the second static mixer, the slurry is once again diluted with elution buffer. The dilute slurry is then passed to the second hollow fiber module, where it is reconcentrated, recovering antibodies left over from stage 1 in the permeate stream. While the slurry cycle finishes in the second slurry tank, the permeate stream from the second hollow fiber module that contains the recovered antibodies is recycled via recycle line back to the static mixer that is part of stage one. This completes the countercurrent recycling loop and the batch elution operation of the countercurrent tangential chromatography system. While batch operation is important for research and design, the real advantage of the countercurrent tangential chromatography technology is realized when it's run in a continuous mode. In contrast to the stepwise batch approach used in packed bed columns, a continuous CTC system uses modular design to accomplish chromatographic operations in a continuous sequence. The resin slurry moves through each module in conveyor-like fashion, while all the necessary chromatographic steps are performed in their corresponding modules. In the last stage, the slurry is re-equilibrated and recycled back to the original slurry tank for subsequent reuse. Because of this modular approach, the continuous CTC system would only need 20 to 30 percent of the resin volume used in conventional columns to process the same amount of fluid. For large-scale protein A capture applications, this can translate to savings of up to $10 million. In conclusion, Chromatan's countercurrent tangential chromatography can meet the urgent industry demand for a continuous, disposable, scalable, and cost-effective purification technology. To find out more about Chromatan, please visit www.chromatan.com. Thank you for watching.